Hello all, it's story time again, and today we're going to tell the story, the true story, of the three little pigs. No, not this true story of the three little pigs. This one's even more true. Yeah. First we need to tell some details that most versions of this story get wrong. Firstly, the three little pigs were in fact three sows. That is to say, they were three female pigs. Now the wool was really a wolf that was kind of down on his luck. So far down on his luck that he had become a gigolo. That is to say, the wolf was a man whore. Now one night, he happened to have appointments with all three of the little pigs. So he starts his evening out by going to the pig that lives in a straw house. She answers the door, they have a little conversation. She pays up front for the uh, fun that's about to happen. And the wolf starts going down on her. Because, you know, a wolf has a big tongue, so it'd be good for that. And he's just in there, and he's doing a great job. And she has just a violent screaming orgasm. So violent, in fact, that the straw house collapses in on itself. Now, after this, and the wolf didn't know it at the time, but this little pig is dead. It's not clear why. Maybe she suffocated from the straw. She had really bad hay fever or something. Makes the building material an odd choice, but could be. Or maybe he was just so good that she literally came to death. Who can say? But whatever the case may be, he's pretty sure his job's done because she got off and uh, she's apparently passed out, or at least that's what he thought. So he moves on to the next little pig's house. So he gets to the next little pig's house. She made it out of sticks. Better material than straw. And, uh, you know, same thing happens. He uh, has a little conversation, gets paid up front. And it turns out she likes it a little rough, so she's just up against the wall with him just pounding away. And, 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 oh, oh she gets off. And the wolf's happy. He's a quick job. And uh, she lays down, and he takes his leave. But the rough sex caused the house to get a little shaky, and as he closes the door, it sets in motion a chain of events that leads to this house again collapsing. But because the sticks are a little harder, and some of the ones used in the roof were a little sharp, kind of kind of stabbed the, the little pig to death. So it really wasn't the wolf's fault, but still kind of looks that way. Kind of just an unfortunate series of events. So the wolf gets on his way, goes to the last little pig's house, which is made of bricks. And uh, when he gets inside, he finds out it's not really so much a house made of bricks as like a weird, creepy sex dungeon. Because this little pig is into some hardcore kink and femdom. And he didn't know that going in, but she uh, she puts basically a blindfold on him and gags his mouth. And she just goes to town on this wolf. And ultimately ends up killing him accidentally. So she's kind of a black widow pig. But anyway, because of the events earlier in the night, the police find out about it. So they assume it's kind of a vengeance killing thing. When in reality it was just really kinky sex gone wrong. So this little pig ends up a folk hero, even though she really did nothing heroic. She was just a crazy bitch. So the moral of the story is, if you're going to be a man whore, you really need to select your clients carefully, because you could end up with a whole evening that just completely destroys your life.